Hi, welcome to Any Gold Dad. I'm Mark. Today we're going to be looking at doing the plaster cloth on the layout, hence the old clothes today. So I've cut away some of the Celotex into the shapes I want. Now we're going to start covering it with the plaster cloth. This is the cloth here I'm using. I got a big box of it off eBay. It's about 80 meters in length for about 30 sterling. Uh, you'll notice with the plaster cloth, one side is smoother than the other and the other is a bit rougher. So when you're laying it down, you want the rougher side facing up. Protect your work area. I've put down some kitchen tile over everything here to protect the tracks because there will be drips and that falling off. Get your basin of water. Have your strips cut up into the size you want. Have a, a decent basin um, that can't be easily knocked over. And then to put the plaster cloth on, you just simply soak it in the water, just like that. Let the excess drip off. And then just lay it and smooth it. And then you just want to repeat that process. Now the plaster can be quite uh, caustic, so if you have sensitive skin, you might want to use rubber gloves just to protect your skin. And it's just a matter of smoothing it over, trying to fill in the holes as you go and then just adding layers. So I start by doing one layer all over, let it dry, see how it looks, and then go over it with maybe a second layer. Once you're happy with the shape you've got. So here's the progress so far. We have one layer of the plaster bandage down. I've put the tunnel portals in place. These I've just uh, screwed in at the bottom onto pieces of wood to secure them in place then wrapping the bandage around them. So what I'll continue on now is I'll put another layer down, smooth it out more to get rid of a lot of these holes. So I'm going to carry on now, adding the second layer, smoothing it off, and then we'll come back and see how it looks. As you can see on here now, I've put a couple of layers of the plaster bandage on. I put the tunnel mouths in. I had to remove these and put them back in again because when the bandage went on, it made the tunnels warp slightly so the trains were catching on the way through, so I've reseated them. You can see I've put the plaster bandage up to the edge of the tunnel mouth. What I can do at a later stage is trim that back so it's a flusher fit. It's going to be hid with scenery anyway. Now you notice that on the bandage you've got some ridges there and you have some holes left. What I do to cover that is I get some uh, plaster, so polyfiller, anything like that. I mix it up so there is a, a watery mixture, so it's like a consistency of milk. And I get an old paintbrush. And I just paint that mixture on. And what it does is a little bits of plaster suspended in the water will fill in the holes. Now you may have to do a couple of coats of this to get a, a good coating. I find you just work it into this into the plaster parts and it covers everything over. Now you can make up a thicker paste if you wish of this, so it's more of a creamy pasty mixture, but that tends to dry very quickly. And if you're doing a large area, it's hard to work it into the area. So I'll carry on now and get this all done. You can see now I've put the plaster wash over. It's filled in all the little holes. It's smoothed out the edges between the joints and the cloth. Need to do a bit of a clean up around the tunnel portals where some of it ran down and dripped down onto it. So I think we'll leave that bit there for today. So I'm going to carry on with the work on the layout, building this section down here and the section behind and continuing the scenic area around. Um, I'll paint this and then I'll start doing a bit of scenic work on it as well. A uh, couple updates to the channel. I'm no longer doing the daily live streams um, due to work commitments and things starting to get back to normal now. I don't have the time during the day to do it. But I hope to do uh, a weekly live stream on Thursday evenings from 7.30. So if you can tune into that, it'll be doing stuff on the layout or maybe just having a running session. If there's anything in particular you guys want me to cover, I can always try and cover it in the live stream and we can interact and ask any questions. 
So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Leave any comments or questions down below. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.